Welcome back to another episode of MacBreak Studio. We're looking at Final Cut Pro. I'm Steve, and I'm here with my buddy Mark Spencer. And he's going to show us some stuff with music. Music, specifically temp music. So we work with temp music a lot, mm -hmm. um, especially I'm referring to stock music when we're trying out different types of music that we might want to use in a piece. And if you're working with a watermarked version, um, and later on you want to switch to the original one, you can run into some problems. Now, we've done an earlier episode on this where we talked about relinking the media. Correct. But I That's like, not what this is. This is not what this is. I like this better. And I want to show a few examples of how to work effectively with any kind of music editing when you're in Final Cut. When you say watermark, are you talking about you, you download the temp music and it's like, you know, audio jungle. Audio jungle, audio jungle. Audio exactly. Jungle. No, and yeah. Um, yes. Watermark music. So Premiumbeat.com. Because right. you, <laughs> you don't want to buy it yet. Right. You want to see if it works in it. And sometimes you need to edit it first. Uh -huh. So here's our example. I'll just okay. jump right in right here. Here we have an example where I have some temp music. You can see I've labeled it with the word preview. And I've dropped it in my project, and it's much too long. So let's say I want to make some edits to it. The first thing I recommend you do before anything is to put it in its own storyline. Because if I don't, and I tap the B key and I start cutting, and I'm not going to try to do this in an accurate way, but we start doing that. We don't, want it, we don't want to get these separate connected clips. So right. instead, I'll undo that. I'll select this and Command G to put its own storyline. So now if I go through and say, well, you know, this is a loud section and there's another loud section. Maybe I can cut that whole thing out. So I'll, I'll hold the B key down and click here and here and then select that and mm -hmm. delete. And it's still not quite short enough. So let's say there's probably, and obviously I'm cheating here. I'd be listening, but there's probably a nice repeating section right about here and here. I'm just holding the B key and letting go so I'm not switching tools. Yeah. And I get it to the length I want. Right. Okay, that's great, although it might want some overlaps, and you can't really overlap in this view, but if I select all these guys and press Control S to expand the audio, that makes it easy to then create some crossfades. I'll just scroll down so yeah. you can see this a little bit better between each of those clips. You yeah. have to have them uh, expanded to do that. And then I could select them all and go into the Modify menu and choose to add fades. Okay. And uh, we've done another episode where we show, we show you you can apply a keyboard shortcut to do that, but sure. I'll apply fades. And great, so I've, I've done it. You know, I've, I've timed it to my piece and I've got some nice fades and everything works. But let's say we now get the original music. We say we buy it, right. all right? So now I've downloaded the original one and I've used different roles so you could distinguish in the browser the preview version from the purchase version. It's funny version. you say that because I, I think roles are really handy here. Um, I want to make sure that I don't end up with the temp music. It's up online and you, yes. hear, the, you hear the, you know, premium beat at the background. Yes. I like to use red for the role uh, assignment only because it just good. flags me that this is yeah. something you want to replace. That's really good. And right. I just left this as dialogue yeah. for this time being, but you can tell they're different. The thing is, if I want to replace this now, well, I could replace the first clip because it starts at the beginning. Right. I could trim back. But how do I replace each of these? You know, I, I've got to go find those sections yeah. in that new clip, okay? I'm, I'm getting so excited right now. No. <laughs> so here, here's, a, here's a much better way to do that. Yeah. I'm going to Command Z to undo all that work I just did. Command Z all the way down until we're not even... You're still in component mode. Okay, well, I'll double click so I'm not in that and I'm no longer in a container. So what I'm going to do is first make a compound clip out of this, all right? Option G. So instead of Command G, it's now Option G. Yeah, and I'll call it Music. And now I'm going to work with this clip instead. So I'm going to do the same steps. All I did was first create a compound clip. So first I'm going to do Command G to put its own storyline. Hold the B key down. And wait, wait, wait. So you have a compound clip inside a connected storyline. A compound clip inside a connected okay. storyline, right. I'll delete this section out. It's still not short enough, so I'll hold down the B key and cut out this what I think is a repeating section, and obviously I'm cheating here, but it gets me to where I want to go. So I've got three separate chunks here, and once again, I can still select all three and Control S to expand them, and I can do everything I did when it wasn't a compound clip. I can overlap these add fades. and you know select them all and add fades just for sake of completeness, modify, adjust volume, add ply fades, and they moved. It's very hard to see because right. they're small there. Okay. Now, here is the great part of this, if you bother to do that one step difference. Which is make a compound clip. Yes, yes. If I double click um, any one of these to go up, well, double clicking on the bottom will, will collapse them back down again. But if I double click once it's collapsed step down. inside the compound clip. Yeah, if I go inside the compound clip, there's the compound clip that contains the full, the full music. music. So I'm going to take my non-watermarked version. I'm going to click on it. The one you paid for. Right. The one you have a license now, for. I'm just going to press Option R to do a replace edit. 
Yeah. So you see the waveform stayed exactly the same. All right, no change to the waveform at all. It just, it just swapped out uh, the music. But now, check it out. If I go back to my project, there's nothing else to do. What? It's done because each one of these little is chunks- Is referring to the- The entire compound clip. Right. So if you open up any one of these separate pieces, it's just that section of the compound clip. So yeah. I'm done. I didn't have to go figure out what those pieces are. Oh my are, gosh, That's And great. I did it one time and the whole thing's finished. <laughs> yeah. Pretty easy, right? That's pretty great, that's pretty great. Just the one step of turning into a compound clip and then making a storyline, cutting it up, because that compound clip is a container that has the music yes. that you're going to replace yes. inside it. And you're just kind of replacing what's inside yeah. the container and everything in your project just flows right through. That, that is a fantastic tip. I'm sure people out there are doing backflips right now as we're watching <laughs> that. So there you have it. Really great tip from Mark on uh, converting temp music to licensed music, essentially. Uh, check us out at rippletraining.com. He's got a bunch of great training and we have some amazing plugins you want to check out a bunch of free ones too you can download really good free ones check us out on twitter usual social media places thanks for watching another episode of mac break studio we'll see you next time